Vicki, good morning to you. Hard to believe a lot of things around here uh, in the greater Cincinnati area. Man, it's been crazy. I've been calling it March Madness for days, and now we are in the thick of it with heavy rain, going to heavy snow, and then more cold air. So let's break it down here. This morning, obviously, heavy rain, flooding concerns are around. We do have flood advisories, flood watches up through the morning. Standing water on the roadways would be your concern this morning. We've had anywhere from an inch to two inches of rainfall overnight. So it's roadways that would have flooding today. The Ohio River will go up by Friday. So near Coney, Kellogg, the usual first spots by Friday, just barely going above action stage there. Heading over to heavy snow by the time we head into the afternoon. Now, snow may start as early as around noon, but I think it may start as kind of a little bit of mist picking up to maybe some sleet and then some wet snowflakes. Heaviest south of the river. The transition happens 3, 4 o'clock this afternoon when everybody switches over to all snow. So, just in time to make a mess of the evening commute. Heaviest snowfall continues overnight into tomorrow morning, and then the cold air settles in. We could be dealing with temperatures below zero Friday morning. That would be a new record, but. Here's the little asterisk here. It won't last. The weekend, still looking good. So make it through today and tomorrow. We're looking at the WLWT radar right now, and we do have rain showers for everybody. Heaviest from West Union to Maysville, down in through Mount Olivet. So that's where the focus of the heaviest downpours are right now. The radar trying to mix it over to snow to the north. I think if anything, you're seeing a wet snowflake mixed in with the rain because we've got all rain reports from Dayton, from Springboro, uh, from Fairborn. It's Rickenbacker up in Columbus is the closest area that's really reporting any sort of real snow this morning. Over the last Several hours though, it's been nothing but rain. Andrew's been noting that the rainfall rate was lightening up, and things will lighten up as we head through the morning, but then the snow pushes in as we roll into the afternoon. So, right now, sitting at 37, we we're closer to 42 at midnight. That'll officially be the high. Winds currently are calm. Here's how today plays out at 8 a.m., still rainy, 37. At noon, Sleet, some flakes of snow. It's all fairly light. You're still okay at lunchtime. I think the roads are wet, maybe a little slushy in spots. By three o'clock, we're transitioning to all snow. And at that point, from there on into the evening, the roads could be rough. We're looking at rough roads for the evening commute. So let's see it all play out here on our future cast. Showing all rain for us this morning. Kind of fading away a little bit uh, for Cincinnati. Lunchtime started to maybe see the transition to the south. I think we're still all rain, but we'll start to see some snow building in north. By four o'clock, we see that transition line moving through Cincinnati. So here's what happens between four and five o'clock. You go to all snow in a hurry, and it's going to be heavy snowfall rates. So that's when the roads, you know, all of a sudden they're fine, and then they're snow covered. So just in time for the evening rush. And then you'll notice as we head into the evening, the bulk of the snow, the deeper blues, right along and southeast to 71. So that's why the those areas are expecting the heaviest snowfall totals. Even midnight tonight, looking at decent snowfall from Mount Orb down into Maysville, slowly fading tomorrow morning. So that's why heaviest snowfall totals to the south, from Peebles to Georgetown to Owenton, that stretch to the south of the 71 75 split. Six to ten inches of snow possible. For the heart of downtown Cincinnati, northern Kentucky, you're looking at four to six inches. That would include Loveland. Getting up into our northern communities, maybe an inch Springboro to Dayton, three or four inches, Lebanon to, to the Mason area. So much less to the far north and northwest. For today, temperatures falling, rain changes to snow. Overnight, we dip down to 15 with snow slowly tapering tomorrow morning, but then we're stuck in the freezer for two days here. Thursday and Friday, staying in the 20s, but here's the payoff for the weekend. Still looking sunny into the 40s, and I know Kyla's been focused on that 54 on Tuesday. You know, I have. In between